Hey guys, welcome to my channel Knowledge King and this is your friend Wasim and today we are going to see the, our first chapter for this channel that is based on JavaScript. Yes, uh, we all know that JavaScript is basically everywhere in, in all our devices and in, in this IT world, basically in this web world that we are using, even on the intra internet, intranet, everywhere there is JavaScript. So yes, we are going to see the first chapter and in the first future chapters would be much in depth. I'll probably put uh, some the chapter details in the below description you can go ahead and watch them as well and so let me quickly start sharing my screen i hope you are able to see my screen so yep that's our first chapter introduction to javascript so let's see what javascript is and where exactly do we use so here javascript was initially created to make pages alive so javascript is like an engine to your car and without JavaScript, your web page would be like a fancy sports car without an engine. So I have just shared a photo, a cute photo here, but that's the photo of Tesla. And Tesla doesn't need an engine. That's that's in the rear. So, but yeah, your your car would something look look something like this. That there is no engine, and so you have this beautiful car, but that won't run because it doesn't have an engine. So JavaScript is something like that. So you create much more beautiful pages, but back of the page you you don't have anything on in it. So there, there won't be any, any engine for this so javascript is something like that so let's see today's world javascript works on almost ev anything and everything that has a javascript engine yeah so to run javascript we need a javascript engine most of uh, the it guys we don't know exactly what this uh, javascript is and I'm, I'm always saying this it guys it guys it guys but we all are a, a family of it okay so we are working in the information world and that's the and we are building technology over it so that's the reason i say it guys so uh yep every bra bra every browser has this javascript engine embedded into them in this era javascript not only runs in your modern browsers but also on servers and almost on all devices that the perfect example for would this would be your node.js node.js is works as a front end as well as a back end engine so that's the reason so node.js is itself is a client uh, side system as well as a server side system so it usually behaves as a server um, your javascript engine is almost built in into all the browsers that you use even your opera your safari your chrome uh, your edge your internet explorer that you were using before now and all the versions of internet explorer all the versions of chrome all the versions of firefox all these browsers does have JavaScript engine built into them. Uh, nowadays, we also get this JavaScript engine in all of the uh, tablets, mobiles, and uh, much more handheld devices. And even if you uh, see the new television sets that you're getting, all the smart TVs, so they do have JavaScript engine built into them too, so that you can browse the uh, content. And uh, so, so basically, it it has uh, JavaScript runs on to almost everything. Okay, but how do we write this JavaScript? Yeah, so there should be something called as an editor that we need. Yep, and the, the there are a few editors and IDEs that I have mentioned below on the screen that you're seeing. Uh, I always recommend Visual Studio Code because that is one of the best editor that I have ever used. I'm calling it as editor, but in itself inbuilt, it's an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So the difference between an editor and an IDE is something like uh, editor is is quite basic so it's uh, something you just open it and start using it but an IDE itself is kind of a framework which gives you uh, multiple help so taking a simple example if you just open a plain notepad windows notepad okay you don't get any kind of an help or you cannot prettify your code or you don't you cannot install any plugins in it but in an IDE basically you can do much more uh, fast development and there are much more plugins that would support your development just taking in, uh, an example so prettyfier is a uh, plugin with the help of which you basically prettyfy your code so we are going to look all of these plugins and whatever I use and I'll, I'll definitely help you out with that so I have been doing this JavaScript development from past 10 years approximate and I'll be definitely going to help you out to to set up an environment to start using IDE what are the shortcuts that we use in IDE most of the time you would see me using Visual Studio Code but I have also used Sublime, WebStorm, Atom and, and all of the other editors that are there right now 
I've used many of them. So yeah, you can write JavaScript on every, anywhere. So yes, you can write JavaScript in a normal notepad as well if you, if you don't want to go with an IDE. But I think you should have a broad level of patience to, to do that. The best and the best friend that you can ever get while developing an application is your developer console. Okay, this thing is 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 definitely going to help you a lot and a lot in in creating an application because uh, you don't know. Um, just take a simple example. So if you are just looking any of the backend technologies or uh, whichever technology that has a compilation process. So what happens there? So your code is completely compiled. You have been thrown all the errors at once and then you have to resolve all of them one by one. But JavaScript doesn't work in that way. JavaScript is something like an interpreter. It uses an interpreter. So there is a line by line execution. Each line that you write that would be in sequence. So the line first will be executed first, line second would be executed second and the line third would be executed third. So what does a develop where where does this develop console come into picture so to give you an example you are running some javascript logic onto your browser right and so you're opening a page so you have written something with some consoles or alerts we are going to see all of them and so you, you just do what what do you do you just write some piece of code and it is executed but how do you get to know where the exact error is on which line in which files so just being on the starting uh, aspect we will be writing a few files but when you go into much integrated and much more complex kind of an application where you start creating a big application then there might be hundreds of files that you would be using okay so how you are going to see which file is having that particular error developer console comes there into picture so just to give a few examples of developer console how does it look see over here okay uh, in real life development environment, a developer console will be your best friend. So that's that's absolutely true. It's going to show you consoles, errors, warnings, and pretty much everything that your code is going to throw at you. Okay. Even you can see which files you are getting down, basically of which files you are downloading from the server. Okay. And how much time they are taking. Even you are going to see how much byte of data you are going to use for each of the file. Okay, so it's 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 more information about everything you're going to do in your application. Okay, and even once you deploy it, so you even can check the performance of your application. So there are there are hundreds of things that you can do with the developer console. But for now, to make it more simpler, just understand that whatever errors, warnings, and informative messages that are basically consoles. So whatever console messages uh, your application, your JavaScript is going to throw, you're going to view them into your developer console. And every browser has this, so that's true. For example, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, all of them have one of the best developer tools that you can you can have. And the newest browsers, okay, so all of these browsers that I mentioned, these browsers even have now you can install plugins into these browsers to get more and more out of your of your application and browser. To how to check the the detailed performance you can even live test it you can even live edit your application so there are multiple plugins that are going to help we are going to see them too okay and we are going to definitely talk more and more and more about devel uh, developer tools we are going to see how exactly they are working uh, into our upcoming sessions so stay tuned on that as well so that's this it's a few a small glimpse of how this developer tool looks so this developer tool is basically of chrome this is of firefox and this is of your edge so this is how how this looks so you can even how to check this out you can just press your f12 key on the keyboard okay or what you can do is control shift and i so that usually works on chrome i think it should work on firefox and edge too but still f12 always works if you don't know how to open still okay let's say that you have some kind of a keyboard weird keyboard which doesn't have a f12 and your control shift doesn't work then still you can do is right click on the browser and go to the inspect element that's it so inspect element will definitely going to open your console okay so uh, you have multiple options like elements console sources network so there are multiple tabs in it we are going to go into depth when we are going to see the actual coding for now this is it for developer console okay so i think for the basic introduction this much is good okay and you can see another link for our chapter 2 uh, click that chap uh, link and you'll be directly going to our second chapter which is also interesting and please if you like it do subscribe 
uh, the red button below you have a bell icon on the side and you can click on that bell icon as well okay to get all the notifications whenever we put in our new videos and these videos are definitely and definitely you're going to like them they are going to be interesting and uh, just like it share with your friends and those who are new they are always welcome if you have any questions about javascript if you want to know more about some you know, introductory part you can just mention in the comment below and i'll definitely help you out with that so thank you guys and thanks for supporting take care